Maybe I shouldn't call you or leave a message at all. So I try to be patient, 'cause nothing's written on the wall. Yeah, it's too soon to mention how I've begun to feel that I want your attention. This time it is for real. Oh, baby, love me like you did last night. I wanna hold you till the morning comes. Oh, baby, love me. Okay, so now we're on to page four of our You, Sam Periods, You and Me mini album. Um, so <clears throat> how this page is going to turn out is uh, there's our base. And then we have a flap that's going to go up here. It's going to fold down. <laughs> and then one here as well. Oops, those are backwards, but... Um, and then on the ins, we're at the inside of these, so that would be that inside. Um, and then this one down here. Okay, and then we have a side fl uh, flip. That's going to come off right here and go, I don't know if you can see that. You can't see that. It's not there. You can't see it. <laughs> it's too far up. Okay. And this one down here. So this one here looks, the one at the top looks just like this one. <laughs> I'll pull this down so you can see. Um, actually, these are reversed. So this one would be the bottom and this one is the top. Okay, and then on the back side of each of these, there are these two pieces that we're going to fuse together to make one. Okay, so it's the reverse of this pattern here. So we're going to put the gray on this side with our fuse piece. Okay, this piece will make sense in a moment. So <clears throat> we'll put these together for the pages, for the flips. So on the front side of these two here, okay, I go like this. These are going to meet just about in the middle, there'll be about a quarter of an inch gap in between. We have this one that goes down the bottom, and then we have this one at the top. So that's where the that dotted piece comes in to make that connection. So that's what this whole thing looks like. Okay, so I'm going and I have all my papers cut and ready to go. The only ones I don't have ready to go are the ones we're going to we're going to fuse together. Okay, so first off, what we're going to do is we're going to apply our our flaps, our two top flap, our top flap and our bottom flap. Okay, and these two measure eight and a half by. Excuse me, uh, eight and a half by five and a third, or five and three eighths. Okay. So, perforated side down, uh, we're going to apply our adhesive, and Miter my corners or ends just like that, 
Now, these are scored at a half an inch and then again at five eighths of an inch, okay? But we're only going to fold on the half. Do this with both our flaps, okay? Now I'm going to take my page and I'm going to add these on the this one's actually the top and this one's the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to line this up with the bottom of my page and the sides to get a straight flap. going to do the top one same way Pull the backing off, push one corner down, then I can line up the rest. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right. So Taking my one eight inch thick ruler now, I'll do this up first. I'm going to create my one eighth inch gusset. made my 1 8 inch gussets on both my flaps and there's that gap in the center. Okay, so next I'm going to add my, my, whoops, yeah, that's right, okay. So I'm going to add my flips that are going to go in here and they're going to be about 1 8 of an inch from the top and bottom so there'll be a 1 8 inch border along the top and the bottom of the flip the same with one down here okay i'm going to apply my adhesive 
and these two are Oh, I'm reading the wrong one. Sorry. So these are eight and a half by four and five eighths, I believe. Or four and a half. So eight by eight and a half by four and a half. Yeah, eight and a half by four and a half. Score scored at a half an inch on the eight and a half inch side. Mitering my ends. Okay. So I'm going to fold back on my my tab inwards on the perforated side. Okay. Same with this one, adhesive side up. Okay. So I'm going to line this up. It's like I said, about an eighth of an inch from the top. Oh, that's a little close. Do the same on the bottom. Okay, there we go. So we have this flap up here, and then we have another one down here okay now we can add um we can add our paper now i have to do something first um, I'm going to um, I have to go five steps ahead. <laughs> because we have to we have to have a closure so I'm just looking at the possibility of what to do on this so we want a closure here right so we can do that or
<clears throat> well, that's not good. Well, <clears throat> I didn't want to use something of this size here, unless I put it down low enough. I could do that. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to place a magnet here and here on on these flaps. Okay, so that when I put it back on this, I'll be able to use it as a closure. On here that will keep them closed I hope okay so that's my plan I have to think ahead So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the front first, and cover these magnets so they're not in the way. Okay, so these pieces here for each one front and back, there's four of them all together and they are four and a half wide by eight and a quarter, okay? <clears throat> I need to do this this way. It's hard to do it when you're Trying to balance the okay, that has to be done this way. Okay. There's that's a good idea. And I can see. Okay. And then the same with this one. far over.
Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay, that's the front. Carefully. Nope, it's not going to happen. It's not in my favor. Okay. That one's going to be just a tad off. All right. Now I'll go on the inside. I'll start at the bottom. Open this up. And get this one in. Again, this one's four and three quarters by eight and a quarter. Or four and a half by eight and a quarter. Sorry. This one goes up here, and this one is down here. See that? So these ones here, oh, there it is. So these ones here are four and a quarter by seven and three quarters.
Okay. Okay, so now we'll do the inside of our flaps. Oh, this piece here um, is eight and three quarter, uh, eight and a quarter by nine and a half. Sorry, <clears throat> and I'm sure I forgot in the previous video on page three to inform you of those sizes. Okay. So these are in two parts. Um, you can do this or you don't have to do this, but I will share the measurements with you all the same. So one piece is, and these are out of the cuttings, like what's left at the end with the cuttings, like our scraps. Okay, so this one's six by four and a quarter, and this one is four and a quarter by one and three quarters, okay? So they will go together in here like that. That's how these two will come together just like that. Okay. So, and the same with this one. It's going to be done the same way. And I'm do doing the gray side instead because of the pink. We've done the pink on the front, so we're going to do the gray on, on the back. So, pink, pink. Uh, 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 Ooh, trough mobile. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to take my 7 mil tape. I'm going to apply a strip along the edge. Like that. Let me see that. Okay. So it's exposed on one side and only covers a portion of the back. And I'm going to take my end piece and I'm going to bring it so I, I have it, I'm lining it up at the bottom and I'm going to hug the, this piece here. So I'm going to push it right up against it. So it looks almost seamless. So that's my plan. And again, here. And again, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to line it up at the bottom and then hug the paper. Okay, again, seamless. Okay, now okay, this one here. So that's going to sit right inside there like that, just nice and neat. And I'm going to fold these back. And 
more poem I have here for. Oh, this one needs a trim. Okay, and now we'll do the bottom. Or the top, pardon me. This is the top. Now I did that on the outside edge, okay. So that's gonna sit here. It is what it is okay all right so there it is and when when I do my embellishments then you'll this should work Oops. oh I didn't there's one here I didn't put on I don't have to do that don't I oh no <laughs> it's just the flap okay all right so let's see we'll get this actually and you'll see what it looks like. So the magnets will be on the other side. And so when this is positioned right, we don't want to take away from our embellishment at the top either. So we'll bring this down a bit. So it looks better. And there, that's what it will look like. Okay. So that's page four. So when we come back, we'll be on page five. Um, so thanks a lot. Um, and I'll see you really soon. Bye.